Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today we're going to be taking a look at Xiaomi's all-new Pocket PC application running on the Xiaomi Mi Pad 5 Pro. Now this application does not come pre-installed on this tablet. This was actually launched recently with the Mi UI 12.5 update for another device in their lineup known as the Mi Mix Fold. But as soon as you sideload that application on the Mi Pad 5 or the Mi Pad 5 Pro, which we have in this video, it does work with this unit. They do offer a separate detachable keyboard for this tablet, but I just have a Bluetooth mouse and a Bluetooth keyboard connected, and you can use it just like this. It's not the most intuitive way to use a keyboard and mouse with an Android tablet, because after all, when it comes to tablets, if you take a look at Samsung's lineup, they offer Samsung DeX, which is basically a desktop environment inside of Android, and you can really take advantage of a mouse and keyboard. So this did come out of the box with MIUI 12.5, but like I mentioned, with the latest 12.5 update to their Mi Mix Fold, they included a Pocket PC Mode app, which kind of works like DeX, but on Xiaomi devices. And I've sideloaded it here. I will leave a link to this APK in the description. You can pick it up from APK Mirror. And I did test it out on a couple Poco phones. Unfortunately, I could not get it to launch. This was the only other Xiaomi device that I could get it to work with. So let's go ahead and start this up. We'll choose OK. And as you can see, we now have a desktop style interface and it does work out really well with a mouse and keyboard. One thing that the Xiaomi Mi Pad 5 doesn't have is display over USB Type-C. I would have loved to see that, but unfortunately we're working with a USB 2.0 interface and we just can't get display over USB Type-C out of this device. I really wish they would have added that because that's one of the main reasons I go to Samsung tablets. But you can cast this desktop to another device like a monitor that supports casting or an Android TV. And in order to exit, all we have to do is choose exit and we're right back to our Android interface. Now I will admit that the features are a bit lacking when you compare it to something like Samsung DeX that's been out on the market for a long time, but still I want to take a look at what this PC mode has to offer on these Xiaomi devices. Alright, so let's go ahead and start it back up. I've disabled the warnings you get when you first start it up, just so I can go directly into it. In the bottom left hand corner we have kind of our control panel. We do have a notification section. You can go ahead and clear these out. We also have our standard Android buttons, back, home, and uh, all apps. This will just give us a window and show everything that's running at the time. We can close everything down from here. We can control volume, brightness, Bluetooth, you know, all the basic Android settings from here. We also have our app list. This is totally searchable, so if I just search up Genshin Impact, it'll pull up. I can actually play this game in desktop mode right now, but I have noticed some issues with a few of these apps. Now, I do want to mention that I've enabled developer options, and I've turned on freeform windows or resize windows. And unfortunately, a lot of this stuff is not resizable, but some of these apps, like Chrome, do have a full screen mode. Unfortunately, when it comes to YouTube, we can't go full screen. We'll take a look at that in a second, but... I do like the look of this. I think it looks great. I know it's a bit early, and this could turn out to be an awesome little setup for somebody who wants, you know, a PC experience on their Android tablet or a bigger screen phone. But I think the first thing they need to tackle are freeform windows or resizable windows. This needs to be enabled, you know, as soon as you go into PC mode. That way we can at least try to force each of these apps to be resizable. And even though I have those developer options enabled, it just comes down to some of these apps not being resizable at all, like YouTube, which would really benefit from being resizable. So if I go full screen with it, we really can't go full screen. There's no rotate in here yet. The window itself just can't be dragged out to be a bit bigger, and we're kind of stuck in portrait mode. But I mean, we can have a ton of apps open at one time. I mean, if you do want to watch a video, you could do it like this, but uh, it would be nice to be able to take those black borders out of there. Let's open up a game real quick. This is one that I found that is resizable. We can actually drag it from the side here, as long as you click on it properly. And we can make this window a bit bigger, but it doesn't have a full screen mode. So we can't click up in the top right hand corner of this window to go full screen like we can with Chrome and a few other apps. But theoretically, we could play a game on one side of the screen, watch a video, or browse the web on the other. It'd just be really nice to have a lot more control over the size of these windows. And I'm sure that will happen down the road. This is a bit early. And another thing to keep in mind is, this was an app that was pulled from another device. And, you know, it's really not meant to be run on this, but it does work. And I do have hope that Xiaomi is going to start adding this to their larger screen devices, specifically their tablets and their foldables, because there's actually a lot of people out there that could just get by with a single device. A lot of people only use their phone, but they might want, you know, a bigger screen or a different layout to do a little bit of word processing, maybe web browsing on a larger screen. And PC mode or pocket PC mode would work out perfect on these Xiaomi devices. 
Whenever I travel, which I haven't done in a while because of, you know, all the weird stuff going on in the world, I don't bring a laptop. I actually just bring my Samsung Galaxy Tab, be it the S6 or the S7, and I utilize Dex Mode on there if I need a bigger screen. And with Dex Mode, I can basically do anything that I want to do online very comfortably, especially, you know, on a wider screen. Dex is also built into their Samsung Galaxy S line, but in order to use it, you will need an external display. With their tablets, you can use it directly on the built-in display, like you're seeing here with uh, PC mode for these Xiaomi devices. It just needs a little more work because there are some apps that are totally crashing when I start them up. So we'll go with the Dolphin emulator if I wanted to get a little bit of emulation done. This is a resizable window here also, but it always crashes out on me. I've tried a few different variants of the Dolphin emulator, but uh, no matter what I do, it always crashes when I'm in PC mode. It works fine in tablet mode or Android mode, but it always crashes as soon as I start a game up in PC mode. Another one that gave me issues was RetroArch. There's just no way to resize it. We don't have that bar on the top, and basically I just had to close this down because I don't want to play a game in this tiny small window. Another thing that I hope they add down the road to most of the devices is display over HDMI. That's something that I think this tablet should have had right out of the box, but like I mentioned, we can cast it. What I have here is a Samsung Smart Monitor. It's the M5. I can go to my casting option here and we can cast this in PC mode. I am on my 5 gigahertz network. I got a pretty decent router in the house and I'm still getting a lot of latency with this. I've never really been able to do good casting in my house. So I'm not sure if it's my connection or the way I got everything set up. And I've also seen a lot of my viewers mention they have a lot of latency when trying to cast from their Android device, be it an old device or a new device. No matter what they do, they just experience a ton of latency. Now this would be fine for, you know, casting a movie or maybe a little bit of a presentation, but if you wanted to play a game on the big screen, it would basically be unplayable if you're trying to follow that big screen because there's just way too much lag there. So that's where a hardwired connection would come in really handy. USB Type-C to HDMI works out really well on other devices that support it, and hopefully Xiaomi comes around and adds it to more of their devices. So yeah, I think this could turn out to be an awesome PC experience as long as they keep working on it, and this could be a killer feature for their future phones and tablet. Like I mentioned, I did try this application on a few Poco phones that were running MIUI 12.5, but it just wouldn't launch. I do have a feeling that some other Xiaomi devices will work with this, so if you're interested in testing it out and you have a Xiaomi phone running MIUI 12.5 or higher, all you need to do is head over to that APK mirror link, download the application, sideload it, and start it up. See if it works. And if you do end up testing this, whether it works or not, let us know in the comments below what device you tested this on. I would actually really like to know if this is working on any other Xiaomi devices right now. But that's going to wrap it up for this video. Really appreciate you watching. I will definitely have my eye on this. And if there's any major updates, you know, to performance or anything like that, I will do another video because like I mentioned, I do think that this could be a really great feature for Xiaomi devices. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.